aligning objects is all very useful, but there are times when we want things to be in specific positions. So for example, I've got three fairly seemingly harmless objects here, two cylinders and a slightly longer cylind cylindrical pole. And what I want to do is I want to assemble these together to make a, a very simple looking table. Now I could use the align tool, but actually what I want to do is I want to make sure that they're actually in the correct position. And if I use the align tool, the best that I'd ever get is that they'd all be sat on top of each other. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn on my 3D snap and I'm then going to right click on that and I'm going to make sure that we've got vertex selected. Now I could use pivot or I could use anything else but I'm going to use vertex here in this instance and I'll explain why in a moment. What this will allow me to do when I go to my move tool is to pick any vertex on this model so you can see here we've got that vertex there and move it so that it aligns with any vertex on another model so it's perfect alignment there if I grab from the bottom here and I have to kind of slightly trust that I've got the vertex in the middle there but I'm sure I have done I can then drag that so that it sits over the top of this base and you'll notice that normally if I just press the S key, S key rather to uh, toggle this normally when I move I just move around my object and it la, 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 there you go it just moves about note that when I press the S key and I turn on that 3d snap I've got a very very small little yellow circle appear here and as I drag I've got a, a yellow line that says this is where it's going to end up and then you can see oh look it's turned green and that means that we found a vertex that we can snap onto when it's yellow we haven't found anything we're searching for a vertex when I do that that means I've found a vertex so now I've aligned the main sort of stem of the table the, the leg if you will to the base and you can see if I look at this in my side view that that's in exactly the right plane exactly the right position and I can do the same with the table as well now I've got two versions of the or the table here rather is one slightly thinner than the other or thicker than the other so what I can do is I can just grab hold of that pull it onto the top there and you can see there that what's happened is I've aligned the table leg with the top of the table here so what I might need to do is just grab this vertex there and pull it up and this could be a little bit tricky because 3D Studio isn't really letting me see exactly where I'm going, but it does help that it sort of allows you to snap without being able to see where you're going. So in the end, what we've got here is our table, or the top of our table, aligned exactly how it should be to the leg and to the base. Very, very simple, very easy way of doing things. If I right click, you can see here I've got options to go to grid points or to go to pivot points of objects. Now, these are probably the other two that you're going to use most of all. Um, the others, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really normally use them, but they're fairly, um, they're fairly self-explanatory as to what they do. I mean, if I change this to be grid points, what I can do is if I'm making a plane, for example, I can make a flat plane that sits from that grid point to that grid point, which is very, very useful. I could maybe make a box that goes from this grid point to that grid point and then snaps up via grid points and if I wanted to move anything around say for example I've made a copy of this I can always shift and I can snap to those grid points that you see there so again very very simple very very easy very much like my angle snap that allows me to rotate 45 degrees I could then move this pivot so that it sits right in the middle and I know there whoop, I was gonna say I know there it's right in the middle it's obviously not uh, if I change and go from grid points to pivot, in actual fact, you can see here that there we go. We've snapped one object very, very quickly and very, very simply to the pivot point of the other. We've got a very interesting shape, sort of star shape there. And if I right click, I can take that off and go back to vertices. So I can then grab that and then reposition as I see fit. So it's a very quick, very simple, very easy tool, yet very powerful tool that will enable you to just move things around very quickly, very easily, and align them as you want.